Hello, my name is Jim Chushu. I'm from Kenya, and I was very lucky to receive the Teddy Award in 2015 for the film we created called Stories of Our Lives. Um, I want to say happy birthday to the entire Teddy crew, um, and keep on doing this very, very important work that you guys are doing, making queer stories visible and reach more people, uh, and to make the people who make queer films feel loved and appreciated. So thank you, and happy birthday. Welcome to Teddy TV. This time we're doing interviews for the, for the 30th Teddy Award birthday and I'm talking with Jim Chuchu. He won the Teddy Award in 2015 for the movie The Stories of Our Lives. And well, I'm very happy to be on Skype with you. Um, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you very much. <laughs> well, um, to, to start sort of, um, can you tell us a bit about the situation of queer people in your country when you won the award, which was just this year? So what is the situation of queer people? Um, well, the, I come from Kenya, which and, and in Kenya we have uh, laws expressly preventing things like same-sex relations. Uh, and uh, that's on paper. We have sodomy laws that were inherited from the British... Uh, colonial project um, and so being charged with sodomy comes with a, uh, a term of 14 years in jail so it's not a it's not a law that is actively enforced but then it means that there's a culture of silence and a culture of uh, harassment around that kind of that kind of relationship uh, so we're, we're in a space where we have a queer movement that's fighting for that law to be dropped and for yeah. and the society to, to treat uh, the queers better. So it's, we're kind of, it's a discussion that's happening in the society. Mm. Mm. Well, and in this situation of oppression and, well, danger as well, you won the Teddy Award. So what did that mean to, well, to you and also to the situation of queer people in your country? Uh, well, the winning the award is very important for us. Uh, it was there was a lot of validation about the project and what we have done. Um, this film was banned in Kenya, and so there was a sense that we we felt like the conversation had been muted in Kenya by that banning. And so having the film receive we received warmly by other audiences in other countries meant a lot to us because it made us feel like we were not we're not crazy and that the stories we were telling were important. Uh, so it was, it was very, just deeply meaningful for us to, to be validated in that way. Mm -hmm. But was there any media response to you winning the award after the movie was banned? In, uh, not here. The conversation about this film has been completely muted here. Uh, but of course, winning the award meant that the film traveled to many, many other places because of the visibility of the awards. So we are really grateful for that. Mm. Do you have the feeling that that changed the, the situation somehow, that you could go to other festivals and screen your movie, talk about it? Did that change the situation? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, the film has traveled so, so much and still continues to be screened in festivals all over. And I, we are very sure that uh, that getting the Teddy Award is a big, uh, was was a big part of that happening. Mm. Do you have the hope that the movie can be screened at some point in your country in the future? Yeah, I mean, uh, we've had a lot of films and books banned in this country before, and they always end up getting into the hands of the public eventually, whether it's five or ten years after. So we know that one day this film will come home. Okay. Well, um, it's the 30th birthday of the Teddy Awards. And, um, well, what are your wishes, what are your hopes for the Queer Film Awards? Um, I think it's wonderful that there is an award that's specifically for queer film. I feel like queer film remains that thing that can change people's lives. I, I can't tell you how many times I watched a queer film and felt like I was visible, or I was understood by someone else, and so because film is that thing that people are most likely to encounter as a cultural work, even more than books. And then I think the Teddy Awards are 
it's so important to validate the, these stories and to make them more visible and to make the people who are involved in their making feel appreciated. So I think it's the most wonderful thing ever. It's like Oscars for queer film. <laughs> All right. Well, um, thank you very much for the interview and thank you for these warm words and all the best for the future. Thank you very much. Thanks.